friends and welcome back. Today we are heading to Ikea to do some holiday shopping and if you're like, hang on one second, Ikea? Christmas? I know, you're not alone because I also for some reason never thought of Ikea as a place to go for Christmas shopping. But a few months ago I was talking to my mom and she's like, I can't wait to go to Ikea for Christmas. They get the cutest Christmas stuff. And I was like, wait, hold up girl, what? And honestly, I have not been able to stop thinking about it since. So the minute that Ikea got their holiday stuff in, I like got in my car and I drove over there like a little mad woman to check it out. And let me tell you something, it did not disappoint. And I was so excited to show you these gems. Let's go shopping. All right guys, first thing right off the bat, I was super blown away with their artificial tree options. They had so many options and they were also super reasonably priced. They did have a couple of full size trees, but honestly the ones that caught my eye the most were the smaller ones. These are so good for tabletops, mantles, and your kids' rooms and bedrooms. I just thought these were such great finds. I bought this small light up one for 20 bucks as the perfect tree for my kids' playroom. I even popped it in this little Ikea tin that I already had, it fit really well. And then I got this other one that felt more like a natural evergreen to use on my dining room table. Also popped this into an Ikea tin. It was a little small, so I just used a little ribbon around the top to cover the black edging. Now, speaking of trees, when I was looking at one of the larger artificial trees, they also had these light up presents underneath. I fell in love with them. I thought they were so cute for sitting under a tree, like before Santa comes and brings um, presents. I also thought they would be really cute in a playroom. I honestly kind of have buyer's remorse over these. I just thought they were really, really cute. And they also had these big light up houses, which were also adorable. These would be so great under a tree or on your mantle. I thought these were another really cute find. Moving right along, Ikea is always a great place to get textiles, pillow covers, um, like throw blankets, that kind of stuff. And they did bring out holiday colors and patterns. I saw tons of great holiday textiles, tons of beautiful throws. I actually have a little more buyer's remorse, again, over this chunky white blanket. It just was so cute and so cozy. But honestly, as the mom of a three-year-old and a nine-month-old, I could not justify a bright white chunky blanket in my living room. I just, I'm not the kind of person, like some people can have that much white in their house with kids and they do it and that's fine. I'm just like not that dedicated to my textiles and not quick enough with the stain remover spray. You know what I mean? Although side note, I just recently got Folex stain remover. People like have been talking about this stuff is wow. That stuff is good. It is as good as people say. Now I didn't come home with that cozy white throw. I did come home with some stuff to swap out the stuff on my couch. I just love how this is a really simple, affordable way to bring Christmas home without having to buy like a whole holiday set of pillows. I just get the pillow covers and I swap out the ones I already have. This is so much easier for holiday storage as well to not have to store an entire holiday pillow. You just store the pillow covers and then you can swap out with the pillows you already have on your sofa or bed or whatever. Now one great little hack for textiles is actually to go to the rug department and you're looking for this Tulflint rug. It's like a faux fur rug and it's super affordable. It's like nine or $10. You can just throw those over armchairs or at the foot of the bed to bring in some cozy texture and winter vibes. I really love this. I think it looks much more high end and expensive than nine or 10 bucks. Next up I saw Ikea had Christmas cards but their Christmas cards were actually for UNICEF which is awesome. 100% of the proceeds go to UNICEF USA which I thought was very very cool and also the cards were super adorable I'm sure a lot of you guys are like me and you do family photo Christmas cards to like send to family and friends but I also often find that I, like I need just some regular Christmas cards to send to like my kids teachers or to give the mailman or the garbage man like a tip or whatever um, and so I thought that these were a really cute option and for a really great cause next up Ikea had a ton of ornaments to choose from personally I thought just their colored bulbs were really great and they come in nice classic colors whether you want gold or you want red or you want green they also have had this color assortment that I thought was really pretty. They did have some other ornaments like some straw and some wooden ones and those were very cute but I honestly just didn't think they were like I think there was like four of them for 10 or 12 bucks and I just didn't think the price point was that great for the quality that you were getting. But for like classic bulbs to fill your tree I think they have great finds.
Moving right along to dining and entertainment, there are tons of great cocktail napkins. I love having those out for the holidays when you're hosting. You can put hors d'oeuvres out or if you're having a little drink. They're just a great little affordable way to bring some holiday into your hosting. They also have dish towels as well as aprons. They had an adult apron and a kid's apron and I thought these were really cute. My son loves to help me in the kitchen so I brought a set home for us to do some holiday baking. Although I'll be honest, I was a little bit jealous because I thought that the print for the kids apron like I wanted it an adult but the adult got like more grown-up pattern and that I, I, I was a little bummed about that I wanted the kids pattern in my size but that's okay I guess they also had these cute plastic placemats these are really great for kids as well as a couple of table runner options for holiday 2021 one thing I really liked and I noticed about holiday um, stuff from Ikea was they brought out like different ones for it seemed like they brought out different stuff for each year because everything was labeled as 2021 and so I liked that a lot of the patterns repeated so you could get it in the table runner and in the napkins and in the wrapping paper so you could sort of get a whole set if you wanted but even the patterns like if the patterns weren't the same they all sort of had like an ikea vibe in the sense like ikea really tends to go for like a scandinavian style so you could sort of mix and match the patterns and they still had the same style and vibe and so i really love that and made it really easy to get like a nice cohesive look also a bigger ticket item but how pretty would this gold bar cart be to style for the holidays i just loved it and of course ikea is always great for glassware for any hosting that you're doing whether you need water glasses or wine glasses or cocktail glasses or whatever and in the christmas section they did have tons of other their kitchen odds and ends they had this very cute little serving tray for cookies and then they had holiday cupcake liners and they had a variety of set of cookie cutters which i thought were an awesome find another surprising find was they also sold gingerbread dough in their little like market area as well as gingerbread house kits Okay, one random thing that was not holiday related at all, but Ikea obviously sells like their big Ikea tote bags that everyone loves. You know, we all use it, it's great. But I feel like Ikea is getting a little bit like ahead of themselves with this material. I found that they had coin bag keychains, which I don't know, this seemed a little ridiculous, but nothing, and I mean nothing was as ridiculous as this Ikea tote bag rain hat. You guys, this thing is, I would have loved to be a fly on a wall during that marketing pitch. You know, when somebody was like, you know the Ikea tote bag that everyone loves? And everyone's like, yeah, of course. And they're like, okay, get this, rain hat. And then there's probably like a long pause. And then I just like imagine a slow clap as one by one, each person stands up at the table. You know, it's probably not how it went, but that's how I like to envision that that hat ended up at Ikea. Moving right along, there wasn't a ton of Christmas wreaths, but they did have this pretty leaf wreath, which is sort of like, olive or bay leaves and i just thought it was a really pretty neutral option you could add a pretty bow to it or some floral picks they also had this sort of like candle wreath thing but i don't know it didn't really do it for me i felt like it looked a little cheap you know at ikea i feel like there's always a lot of hits but then there's always some random stuff that like looks cheap and to me this was one of them on the store floor i saw this really cute hack or sort of like tip or diy craft thing that i thought was super cute they had just taken some of the Ikea frames and added cute Christmas wrapping paper to make it look like holiday art wall, sort of. I thought this was such a quick, cheap trick that could be a great way to use some leftover wrapping paper scraps. Also right now as I'm filming this, this could be a super cute Christmas tradition because I don't know about you guys, but personally in my house, like growing up, my mom would, not my mom, Santa, would always wrap like all of my presents from Santa in one wrapping paper and all of my brother's presents from Santa in another wrapping paper. And I've continued this. It's also just really easy. Like I wrap all of my husband's presents in one wrapping paper and all of my son's in one wrapping paper. It just makes it really easy. And it's always fun as a kid to come down in the morning and see all your presents in one wrapping paper. You know like which presents are yours. And also you don't need to use as many name tags. Anyways, how cute would it be to take one little scrap of each like wrapping paper and put it in a frame and like put the year and whose wrapping paper it was. And then year after year, you would sort of add to it. You would have this gallery wall that you could hang up at Christmas time that would sort of grow and have little scraps of the wrapping paper. I just think that would be, I'm a sucker for cute holiday tra traditions. So I might be bringing that one home, but I just think that would be so, so cute and such a fun 
tradition to like look back over the years, but also double as great holiday decor. All right, let's keep browsing. Ikea always does great in the lighting department. They had so many super cute string lights for Christmas, little stars and twinkles and so many choices. Personally, I brought home this like snowball pom-pom style one. I thought these would look really cute on a tree or just strung across a mantle. One thing I love about the string lights that they have at Ikea is they have the off switch and then the on switch is a six hour switch. So you don't have to worry about remembering to turn them off at night. You just turn them on at dusk and then six hours later, they're gonna automatically turn off. One of the biggest things from Ikea that I wanted so much that I did not come home with was these paper stars. These were so pretty. They came in like whites and then some Christmas variety. And unfortunately, my Ikea only had two of them. And I wanted to bring home an assortment of them to do my kid's playroom. I thought they would be so cute. You could hang them just as they are, or you could light them with twinkle lights or the lighting kits from Ikea. I just really, really loved these. All right, last big winner is I saw tons of great stuff for wrapping, a ton of wrapping paper in really, really pretty patterns. And it honestly was a really good price in comparison to other places that you would buy your wrapping paper. They also had these really pretty matte bows that I thought were really nice, as well as different ribbons and bags and gift card tags. They even sold wrapping paper storage bags, which I personally think are a must at Christmas time. You gotta keep that stuff organized when you're like constantly wrapping stuff. I already owned one, so I didn't get this one but I think that they are great finds if you don't already have one. The last thing they did have were some like Christmas odds and ends, like little figurines and such. It's not something I usually buy, but if you do like these little odds and ends for Christmas, they had a variety of them. All right, my friends, that does it. That was some, like, am I right? Were those some amazing Christmas finds? I was completely blown away. My first time ever going to Ikea for Christmas. And I'm like, wow, I'm coming here every year so good. Anyways, as always, thank you so, so much for stopping by and watching. I hope you are having a fantastic day, and I will see you all in my next video. It was like a bird go flying away. I'm not really sure what that was supposed to be, but adios. Oh, I'm like out of breath. I should probably just drink coffee. That'll obviously help.